So uh, I just wanted to show you a few lands, properties that my dad purchased in the 1980s. This area is just off the um, bypass, the Bishop Road they call it, and the area is actually called um, Ferris Food. So my dad purchased this land in the 1980s, early 1980s, and I think he paid around 15 lakhs, that's about 15,000 pounds. But um, it's just around one acre of land. And the equivalent value of the uh, land now is around 150k, I would say. Just the uh, land value. So you can see how it has increased. And we have uh, several more lands and plots in Silet. I'll show you a few while I'm here. And these lands have just been sat there for years and years, for 30 years, without no investment, just sat there. And uh, it's not actually been making any um, revenue for us. But I have some plans in the future to do some apartments or flats and do some investments in the future. And I will be speaking to a few engineers and architects about that, how to uh, progress further. But let me show you a little bit of this area and something that my parents did and uh, to benefit us and so many British people, they have so much land and they just sat there doing nothing. And you see a lot of them uh, actually struggling in UK. It's just a shame. So this is it. Welcome to Ash Vlogs, investments, properties, lands. So as you can see, our plot starts from that corner there to this and uh, it goes all the way around and I'll show you inside of it. And uh, before in the 80s, all this was just nothing, just land, rural land, there was no development whatsoever. And they didn't even have any big roads then, but now they've got so many Bashaint and uh, Barries. And next door to me is another friend of mine. He's got a basha there from uh, Sheffield, Mumbai. That's his basha. And I think he's actually here in um, Bangladesh now. So if he is, I will say hello to him. But this is it. So uh, I am at Uposhohar in Silet and this is actually B block. So as I said I wanted to show you another property land that my, bought, my dad bought in the 1980s. So in the 1980s he bought this land for I think equivalent to about 20 grand, 20k. And this building has actually have uh, five stories foundation so you could build it to five stories. And he actually bought it from an army officer that time. But now the land is worth around half a million. So you can imagine, he paid 20 grand for it in the 1980s. And now this building and the land area is worth about half a million. But it needs some work done. So I'm just a little uh, tour. Because as you know, we don't actually live here. We live in UK. We only come in uh, probably once in every five years. And we have other people looking after it. It's not in very good condition, but it's very old fashioned. So if you look at all the modern bashas, they look very contemporary. And this is one of the oldest bashas on this road, on a B block for sure. That's why it's old. And let me show you this. So uh, 
as you can see here, Muhammad Kur. And then it says my mom's name, Rajya Begum. Kullamu. There you can see it says my mom's name, Basha Mumba. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them Jannat again. But that's my mom's name and uh, they had this plaque built. And uh, most of our land and properties, they built the same thing as well. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's show you inside. maximize it into two different flats so in this uh, section I think there's only uh, three bedrooms dining kitchen drawing room all the sides exactly the same but um, when they did design it they didn't use the full area of the uh, boundary unless it would be much more bigger but this is one of the oldest bashas in uh, Upashawa one of the first ones it was originally started from A block and then we were on B block and we're actually the second house on the B block and um, some of the properties on this road or this area in Nukosho are amazing people have spent millions and millions building their bashas here but while I was here I thought I might as well just come down and um, see for my own self and see the conditions so I'm around the world with the people that live in here Take it 